Tracy Ravel, who's going to share how you can tap into your intuition to find personal power and confidence from within. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. Oh, what a beautiful way to start. <laughs> Thank Makes you. Makes me think of the next Karate Kid. It was like one of my favorite movies. And when she went to go do the big jump, she always got down. Cool. And then she'd leap up. <laughs> right? Yeah, totally. So the first thing I want to do is I want to define intuition. Okay. So people throw that word around. I really don't totally understand what it means. So pr explain what that means to us and then we'll start, um, we'll move a little forward from there. Okay, explain intuition. Um, intuition, I believe, is knowing what you know. Mm -hmm. um, and we all get information different ways. And I guess at its base, it's knowing what you know. Mm -hmm. and trusting that. Okay, so how do we tap into, so basically there was a time I was, I remember coming to you, I was super stressed out and you had me do some different things. I can't remember all of what it was, but it made me feel like I was more present mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I was like, you were asking me to just give you answers. Mm -hmm. Like it was coming from somewhere. So mm -hmm. tell me, you know, how do we use <laughs> techniques like that to tap into our intuition and really kind of find those answers for ourselves? So first of all, as women, we are hardwired to know what we know in our bodies, mm -hmm. to connect with source, if you will, okay. with ourselves, and to know what we, what we know in our bodies. So I had somebody actually, I've been doing a lot of learning recently, and I had somebody actually say, what you do is not woo-woo at all, it's really just science. Oh, wow. Science is information gathering. Uh -huh. and data um, interpreting, if you will. So what I do with people is I really have you set up like a clear channel, like uh -huh. I had you do. So go ahead and set up. <laughs> Head over chest, over pelvis, and connect down and connect up and out and bring all of you into you and ask a question. Mm -hmm. And ask your body and ask yourself and it will tell you and you will get a clear, I know what I know, if you listen. Okay. So going back to the data gathering and the scientific, literally thoughts are like electrical impulses in your body. Uh -huh. And emotions are hormones, basically a chemical. Oh. So when thoughts and chemicals come together, it's literally a chemical reaction in your body. Uh huh. And we can interpret that within our nervous system, literally, uh -huh. mind, body, emotion, and spirit. And we can shift it and change it according to knowing what we know yeah. and just interpreting that and, and, and listening to it. Most of the time we ignore what we get. Mm -hmm. It's easy, because even if I'm hungry, my body's like, I'm hungry, and I'm like, no, you're not. Right. We have to go. Right. So we get, it's almost like my body is, tr I'm trained to not listen to my body. Right. Yeah, and, and it's, it's very, it's almost honored in this culture mm -hmm. to not listen to it and just to keep going and to go, keep go, driving. Go. Yes. And so that's, I talk about the feminine a lot. That's the feminine, mm -hmm. the listening, the honoring, the intuition. Yeah. Yeah, the being present with that and coming from that inside strong centered power instead of the outside force. So you take mm. this <laughs> and you take it out into the action in the direction, okay. that's where you rock your life. You start coming from that real, true, confident within yourself mm -hmm. space. Okay. So what is <laughs> one thing that our viewers can do today that will help them to take the first step towards paying more attention to their intuition and listening to their body and not doing that thing where we just go, go, go and ignore everything that we're feeling? My favorite thing that you see me do all the time the shoulder blade squeezes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so letting your shoulder blades drop back and down and opening this space, mm -hmm. heart center, right? Uh -huh. And opening this and literally letting those guys pull back and down. Okay, I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually call these the confidence muscles. Okay. <laughs> so opening that and really noticing this feeling from this space, mm -hmm. most of us are like this all the time. Yes. And shut down, right? And so that opens you up to really drop into the heart center, listen to yourself. Okay. 
know what you know, feel what you feel. Perfect, and even that action just kind of, it makes you have to think because it's not totally. usual. So just thinking differently will maybe get you to kind of be present in the moment for a second. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it literally will rewire <laughs> you to be in your body, which is being present. Okay. When you learn how to rewire mind and body, mm -hmm. you can learn how to rewire mind, you can learn how to rewire a mental and bring all of it together with the spirit. So. Oh, beautiful. Well, with that, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Tracy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.